Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Railify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So on the screen here, we have uh, it's a letter, bunch of scribbles on this letter. This le this letter is uh, addressed to the world. It is a letter that says, "Hey, I tried to assassinate uh, Donald Trump, and uh, I didn't do a very good job. And I'd like to give you one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for for you to do it." This letter was just actually just found by the DOJ, and they immediately thought it would be a great idea to release it to the public. They were like, you know what? Yes, we will do that. It's funny because the federal government actually does have a policy, or they say they have a policy, although they don't really follow it. It is very hit or miss whether or not they do follow their own, ru their, their own rules. That policy is don't release a legacy artifacts to the public whether it be a manifesto, a suicide note, a letter or a video or whatever for, for a terrible crime like this. Like Columbine, there was legacy artifacts. They, they kept that under wraps. I think the, was the Virginia Tech, that shooting had legacy items. And I think those ones came out. Uh, Audrey Hale is a great example of legacy artifacts that they, that they said was going to be the most dangerous Ever. If you got your hands on it, it was going to be the end of humanity. Well, I, I read on a live stream on Saturday night off the rails on, on, on Rumble. So follow me on Rumble if you haven't already. Um, also consider following me on Twitter. And also be a Giga Chad and follow me on Locals, thirdrailify.locals.com. But they um, leaked the uh, 90 pages of uh, Audrey Hale's writings. They at first, it was like, oh, it's a transifesto. And it turns out she was just a sad, autistic incel. Only kissed one time in her whole entire life. And she was madly in love with a woman who didn't know that she existed. And it was actually pretty sad to read. Kind of heartbreaking. Until it got to the whole part about killing people. And then you're like, well, bitch, you sacrificed your own, your, or you gave up your, your right to live. So good on them police for doing what they did. My point is, they claimed that was the most dangerous book ever, and it just wasn't. Ultimately, at the, at the, uh, at the end of the five-hour live stream I did on the topic, I, it was basically determined that it was a nothing burger. It was a sad story. It was a nothing burger. It wasn't a manual. It wasn't uh, anything for any kind of destruction. It wasn't a call to action. It wasn't about ideology. It wasn't about how how people should rise up. It wasn't. It wasn't anything. It was just a sad autistic incel writing about her sad feelings. That's all it was. But that couldn't come out and see the light of day because it was so dangerous or whatever. If that was dangerous, then what the heck is this? What is this? Dear world, this was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump. But I am so sorry I failed you. I tried my best and I gave it all the gumption I could muster. It is up to you now to finish the job. And I will offer $150,000 to whomever can complete the job. Everyone across the globe, from the youngest to the oldest, uh, know that Trump is unfit. To be anything, much less a U.S. president. U.S. presidents must, at a bare minimum, embody the moral fabric that is America and be kind, caring, and selfless and always stand for humanity. You know, because Joe Biden did that thing, right? He stood for humanity. Was he selfless? What about, what about Kamala? How kind is she? Selfless. She left people in prison past their sentences so she could have cheap slave labor. She had a man on death row who didn't commit the crime and she was given evidence, exculpatory evidence. She wanted nothing to do with it. Left him in jail on death row. This, this fella wants to talk about how Donald Trump isn't presidential. Is it kind? I constantly on Twitter constantly am inundated with people sharing their stories like famous people famous rappers even 
saying, oh, yeah, you know what? I was doing this and it wasn't very successful. And then Donald Trump told me, yeah, you know, you have to manage your money by doing this and this and this and this. And this is how you can do it. But if you want to get really serious, you could do this and this and this. And it's like that. The, I, don't, I forget his name because I don't know names of rappers very well. But one rapper was like, yeah, Donald Trump taught me how to manage money or how Donald Trump would give give um, young black folks a business loan. They couldn't get loans from any other bank. And then Donald Trump was like, OK, you know what? On, on this day, the money and the principal, uh, the, the, the principal and the interest is due. On, and then you're going to come to me with a check and that's going to be great. And then they did. They, they, they did their business. They came to him. And then uh, Donald Trump was like, oh, is, is this what we agreed on? This is the money. This is the interest, the, the stuff. He would rip up the check, shake their hand and say, congratulations. Because from everything I've heard, Donald Trump is, he's, he's a kind, caring person, which is great. All of his employees love working for him because he tips. He's kind. He's generous. That sounds like a good human being. Mean tweets? Who gives a shit about mean tweets? Man, now that he's not doing mean tweets, now that he's just typing presidentially or whatever, a lot of people are like, God, I miss the mean tweets. Maybe the mean tweets were kind of great. Anyways, let's, let's actually get into the article. So this is, this is the uh, would-be assassin Ryan Wesley Routh chilling letter offering 150000 to anyone who could finish the job. So again, it, it's, it's amazing to me that, that Audrey Hale's book couldn't be released. It, it was leaked. I read it. It was a nothing burger. They said it was the most dangerous thing ever. And yet a letter offering money, $150,000, which is a large sum of money to the entire world. Um, that's fine. They were fine with it. It is like the DOJ is silently low-key offering $150,000 for someone to complete the job. Almost like they have run out of assassins. Like somehow they got Thomas Crooks in on it, and he, he was a bust. And then so they got this guy in on it, and he was a bust. And they're like, oh, well, we don't have any more people. Oh, well, we'll just low-key offer $150,000. I would be really unsurprised if it turned out to be the CIA or the FBI that actually wrote this fucking letter. And they were like, look, we found a letter. I would be unsurprised. So Donald Trump's would-be assassin, uh, Ryan Wesley Routh, uh, wrote a chilling letter admitting he failed in trying to take the life of the former president. Routh offered $150,000 for anyone who could finish the job, according to the note released by the Department of Justice on Monday and obtained by Daily Mail. This was an assassination attempt, Donald Trump, but I failed you. I tried my best. And I gave it all the gumption I could muster. It is up to you to finish the job. And I will offer $150,000 to whoever can complete the job, the letter reads. This guy didn't have two pennies to rub together. So one, he's, he has money from a foreign government, maybe Ukraine, because he was given a letter saying um, he was going to be a soldier for Ukraine with the, with the job of shooter and soldier. Shooter assassin? I don't know. It was on his Facebook page, but the... The Zuckerbot nuked his account. Or maybe there is no $150,000. Maybe it was just uh, he's going to say that to get people just to do it. Because once, once Trump is assassinated, then, um, then the mission is complete. Or in all likelihood, the assassin would be killed. And so they can't collect the, the, the money that doesn't exist anyways. So who knows? But just just the fact that they put it out there into the into the world is kind of shocking. This is actually dangerous. Audrey Hale's writings were sad and kind of pathetic. This is actually dangerous. It was addressed to the world and said Trump had ended relations with Iran like a child. And now the Middle East wa uh, has unraveled. Route 58 had uh, a list of Trump's upcoming public appearances, and he, he um, googled a, a route, an escape route, from Palm Beach to Mexico. He is set to appear in federal court on Monday for a detention hearing after the attempted assassination on September 15th at Trump's golf course. So this looks to be like a, this must be a multi-page letter because what i read 
in the beginning of this video had nothing to do with Iran on it. And this looks like an this looks like a one right here. So this must be a multi-page letter. Ahead of that appearance, a federal prosecutor submitted a written factual proffer with new details about the day Rouse tried to assassinate Trump on his West Palm Beach golf course. In addition to outlining the evidence against Rouse, the Justice Department argued that he should remain locked up as the case moves forward. He should be locked up, but, you know, technically he's only in on two gun charges, and they're not even very big gun charges. And, I mean... In a, in, in a weird way, technically speaking, because he only has like smaller gun charges, um, bail is for the purpose of um, ensuring that a person comes, comes back, right? Like you're innocent until proven guilty. So I don't, I don't know what they're, what they're going to say about this guy to keep him locked up. Like it's going to be kind of funny. They're going to say, they're going to say all kinds of things about how he's so dangerous. So he should remain locked up, but he's only got a couple gun charges like is he a flight risk i personally i would say so the document reveals a secret service agent was riding the fence line between trump's golf course and the public street one hole ahead of the former president when he was spotted um or he, he spotted the partially obscured face of a man in the bush along the fence line and then uh, he also saw the barrel sticking out so in the vehicle once they actually got routh um Law enforcement found six cell phones, one of which contained a Google search of how to travel from Palm Beach County to Mexico. Also in the vehicle were 12 pairs of gloves, a Hawaiian driver's license, and a list of Trump's public appearances for August, September, and October. Additionally, it was a notebook with dozens of pages filled with names and phone numbers pertaining to Ukraine, discussions about how to join combat on behalf of Ukraine, and uh, notes criticizing the governments of China and Russia. The uh, the notes to how to join combat on behalf of Ukraine is for you to do it because he was recruiting soldiers. What a stupid war. Don't do it. Russia is winning that handedly. Don't fight for Ukraine. You will die. On September 18th, law enforcement was contacted by a witness who said Routh had dropped off a box at his residence several months prior. After seeing the news of what happened at the golf course, the witness opened the box. That would be terrifying. Be like, oh, yeah, this guy dropped off his box. Hey, I know him. He was on the news. He tried to kill the president. I better open this box. Among its contents was a chilling letter addressed to the world where Ralph announced his intentions to kill the former president and predicted that he would fail. He then offered six figures to anyone who would complete the task saying this was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, but I failed you. I tried my best and gave it all the gumption I could muster. It is up to you to finish the job, and I will offer 150000 to whomever can complete the job. Everyone across the globe, from the youngest to the oldest, knows that Trump is unfit to be anything much less U.S. president. U.S. presidents must, at the bare minimum, embody the moral fabric that is America and be kind, caring, and selfless, and always stand for humanity. The box also contained ammunition, a metal pipe, mis miscellaneous building materials, tools, four phones, and various letters. I'm, I wonder what's on those four phones. Whose numbers? What texts? I'd like to know that. Also, the various letters. What do they say and who are they to? Anyways, that, that's that. I think this is very, very dangerous. It kind of reminds me of that scene from the movie SWAT. Maybe you've seen it. It's an older movie where the, you know, the SWAT arrests a, a very wealthy bad guy. And then there's news people around. And then uh, he looks into the camera and says, I will offer X amount of, of, of dollars to anybody who gets me out. But because it was like on like the primetime evening news or whatever, um, all the bad guys saw it the various gangs, and so the SWAT team is trying to, like, move this guy from place A to place B, but they have to contend with all of the bad guys crawling out of the woodwork. It's almost like the DOJ was low-key doing that, trying to get all of the people to come out. And we've already been told, Alec Jones has said it, Jack Posobiec has said it, other people have said it, Government officials have said it, that there's actual five assassination teams somewhere in America, and they're trying to get Donald Trump. There's a five assassination teams. 
what even is an assassination team? How many people takes up one makes up one team? Is that like a two man job? A five man like a, like a five man team? Like there's, there's there's five actual different teams. That's terrifying. That means nothing is safe, especially when you consider that um, just this past weekend, a U.S. Secret Service agent shot themselves with their own gun. Not in a not in um a self deletion kind of shot themselves with their own gun, kind of like Cheddar Bob in Eight Mile, where you, where where the, where you shoot yourself in your own dick because you're incompetent and don't deserve to have a firearm. Literally, they shot themselves with their own gun. Anyways, that's it for this video. I love you all, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye for now.